Hey everybody, it's Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters, Mosquito Lagoon Site Fishing Charters, and Florida Nearshore Fishing Charters, located in East Central Florida near Cocoa Beach, Daytona Beach, New Cerner Beach, just east of Orlando. And today we're going to do a video on how to mount your trolling motor on a quick release bracket. Um, I'm not going to show how to place the bracket on the boat just for the fact that or the part that goes on the boat, I'm going to leave that up to you because different boats are you're going to place the trolling motor in different places on different boats. Just because I put it on the bow of my boat, um, somebody else might put it differently. So that's going to be up to you. I'm just going to show you how to mount it to the trolling motor itself because a lot of people get a trolling motor, you know, like we got the brand new Minn Kota Tarova here. Um, they're not sure, okay, so how do I put it on there? I'm just going to show you a quick video on how to bolt it on there. Um, this trolling motor bracket right here is a Minn Kota. Um, the different models it works for is the Riptide, Riptide Tarova, Altera, Power Drive, Power Drive 12, Altera, Tarova. Um, works for all of them. It's got all the hardware inside that you need. And uh, it's pretty easy to do. It can be a little intimidating at first, but it's not that hard to do. Um, it detaches. Uh, this is for bow mount. And um, so the first thing we're going to do is we got everything out of the box. Now I've already gone ahead and mounted it on the bow of the boat that we're putting this on. So that part's done. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is we got the mount right here. The bracket. Um, just take it out of the box and all that. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to remove the sides right here. There's two sides on the trolling motor. There's a screw here. And there's a screw hole here. A Phillips screwdriver. We've taken one side out already. You can see the little screws. If I can focus on that, there we go. Um, so we've taken this side off already. So I'm going to go ahead and set it down. I'm going to unscrew the other side, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we got these things off there, the little side plates off there. Now what we're going to do is I slid the plate underneath here. There's there's some holes down there. You're going to line it up with hole right there, hole right there, hole right there. So now what you want to do is you just want to decide on which side you want your lock mechanism on. I want mine on the right side or the uh, starboard side of the boat or the trolling motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the hardware that came with it and let me slide this off. I'm trying to do it with holding the camera. So you can see where they're countersunk on this side. So we're going to take these. They're going to go in there like that. It's going to come up through the holes there on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. You can see the hole. and bolt 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 and this one's going to be where the lock mechanism goes so that's going to go in there like that and that's going to be the last one we do so let's go ahead and just we're going to slide this under there flat side goes on top countersink goes on the bottom right and then when you go to mount it on your quick release bracket it's going to go on there and then you're going to slide that in so six bolts um, if i'm not mistaken seven sixteenth uh socket and then just a regular Phillips screwdriver. So let me get this mounted on here and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we got one screw on there, kind of got it started. Don't forget to put the washer on there and let's tighten these down. All right, so we're gonna put the lock mechanism in now. So you're gonna take the, the um, thicker end here and you're gonna put it in right like that and just line up the hole and it's gonna be the same thing. Gonna put the screw right through there. So let me set that down. We'll line that up. And when you're tightening these up, tighten them up as tight as you can. Don't strip the, strip the screws. And uh, just take your time. You might have to use a pair of pliers to put the nut on there, get it going. But just take your time and do it. Do it right. Okay, so we got everything in here. We got the screws in. Tighten them down. Got the lock mechanism in. Um, we're just going to put the cover back on, then we're done. Um, I suggest when you mount it for good security, go buy a nice little lock. Now, of course, you know, if a thief's going to steal it, they're going to just cut it. But for insurance purposes, you can show a forced entry. Um, other than that, <clears throat> let me get this on there and we'll finish everything up. <clears throat> all right, so we got it all done here. We got the thing mounted on here. It looks pretty good. Tightened down all the screws. Nice, smooth. Didn't strip anything. Um, like I said, you can get you a little padlock to put on there. Uh, you know, it's not, you can't put a super big one on there because it's not that big of a, a, a hole right there. Um, hard to see this with this camera. Maybe the size of this Phillips screwdriver, you know. Uh, but it's a deterrent. It helps, you know. 
Yep, looks good. So should mount on the boat pretty well, nice and sturdy. Um, all right, anybody got any questions or anything, give me a call or shoot me an email. All right, so we got the mount on here. We got it all done and everything. Now mine uh, really never ever is gonna come off there much. Once in a while I might bring it off. What I did is I put a, uh, a threaded uh, lag bolt through here, stainless steel for extra security precaution. And um, one on this side too, just past the lock right here. Down in here, you can barely see it right there. Um, you know, just drilled a hole in there and, and uh, bolted it in there. So we got it in there, got the lock on there. Everything came out nice nice and clean everything's clean um, i tested it out works great the plugs all done so quick re quick release mount how to do it um, be sure to subscribe to my videos and everybody have a great day thank you